They have a continuation of the poor excuse of it's just inflation. Just inflation, the Conservatives' new repeated critical catchphrase as they hammer on inflation in the House of Commons. There's prices going up across the board. The finance minister now promising a new look at the state of things. I'm pleased to announce that I will be giving an economic and fiscal update to Canadians on December 14th. December 14th, just days before the House rises for the holidays. They are dragging their feet, you know, it took two months to come back here to work in, in Parliament. We still don't have any committee organized and they are waiting this, uh, last week before uh, the Christmas break. Trudeau government wants to deliver a big sack of inflationary coal for every family just in time for Christmas. October saw the highest rate of inflation in nearly two decades, 4.7 percent. And the Conservatives are trying to blame it on Liberal policies, though economists say that's not quite fair. And it's a phenomenon currently experienced across the globe. There's no silver bullet here to solve this type of inflation driven by global pressures and supply chains. Uh, the best thing that Canadians can do is be patient. As for what's in the update, major proposed spending measures are already on the table. $7.4 billion in retooled pandemic benefits were announced in October. Bill C-2 was introduced in the House last week. And so far, the opposition says they won't support it. The NDP says it doesn't do enough to help people still struggling. And the Conservatives have a number of demands, including getting the Finance Committee back up and running to study it. Lots to work out with just a couple more weeks until the holiday break. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.